Welcome back, YouTubers. Welcome back. So in this episode, we're gonna cover KiCat uh, using the library, a database as a library, and so the software I downloaded. I went in the documentation part of it and so I use this this example that's given and then um, I was looking into different tutorials and seeing how can I get it so and the only so there's two three pieces to the puzzle here so first of all I had to download uh, SQL so I went to I went to SQL my SQL and I created my um, my database which in this case is called um, KiCat 7 and then I created a table and in this table I have the par ID symbols footprints manufacturer part number um, the value the manufacturer name so I put this uh, information here and I put uh, the symbol where I'm getting from from device parts more the resistor and the footprint from the resistor library SMD this number and I put some some information here to fill it out the gaps um, the other thing is uh, server I went to connect to database and then here I put the information on how I'm connecting so this is my KiCat library and and then once I did that database connect to database uh, so I got that and then uh, then I got the I went to uh, the ODBS or the no, um, ODCB the sixty four and then I open that it's loading and here I added the a user DSN and a system DSN I did it both because um, I wasn't sure how it was connecting and so and configuration since I'm running local I put the local host I put uh, the database that I'm connecting to the KiCat 7 my password then I think I did the same thing here configure I 
put my port number I'm in a different port 3308 you can change that the default is 3306 um, somehow I, I end up screwing up my ports but this one I'm using so so here's my my SQL connection I name it KiCad 7 library root and then um, so uh, so you can download my SQL from my SQL uh, download so I went to the website I downloaded it went to my SQL downloads and I'm using the community server um, to test it out and what I downloaded I went to downloads I went here to MySQL community GPL downloads I did that and I downloaded MySQL inst in installer for Windows and the connector ODBC so those two pieces of software I did the defaults and so once I got that set up I had my my SQL workbench and then once I got that set up then uh, with Notepad++ plus plus, Notepad++ plus plus, I went to um, I copy the the file and then I put here the DSN that's what I, I use um, the name of my um, the database KiCad 7 now I couldn't connect with the connection string and um, I didn't want to show my password here so the other thing um, in the default I was having trouble because my 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 database is showing as a lowercase resistors so um, so I went here if you do um, if you do a search for KiCad database library and I think it gives you the link to advanced topics and so in the in the file that they give you the resistors is with capital R and somehow it was creating a trouble and uh, so I decided to put it in as the lowercase and then once you got that set up a lot of setup so now my resistor is looking with the value of 4.7 the MPC also all this information is pulling from our database so so if I drop one right now if I go you want to see uh, it's going to say EE now database resistor so if I pick this one for example I drop it now so now I 
have a list. So now if we go to properties, I see it's showing only these fields right now. But okay, but in the database. And the database is showing us, you see here, um, so this is my database, KiCat7, and see with the lowercase, I'm not sure how to set up with uppercase, and so I went here, uh, not there. Uh, on tables open the tables here so so I added these other columns I added these other columns and the way you add it you gotta um, you click the like that little wrench And then you get this is where you add it so I added manufacturer name part number manufacturer part number so now if I go to KiCut and this is where it comes powerful because if you can see these components over here You see it has value, footprint, data sheet, and PM, it doesn't have the other columns. So now if I go to um, tools, update symbols from library, and I'm going to add uh, footprint. They close now. I should get more. Wait a minute, what happened? I should get more fields. Um, do I lose the connection? No. Okay, so I might already apply it. So apply. So I should add this other column, manufacturer name, let's see. Oh, okay. So, so I think the reason it's not showing that is because in the file, in this file, you have to add those fields to get it. You see like the value? So I think if I put a comma here, so let's see, if I put a comma here, enter, and I get this one, copy, paste, so now instead of value, um, Instead of value, we're gonna uh, say instead of value, we're gonna have manufacturer name. I'm gonna copy this and 
and the file we're going to put it here control v control v so save it and now let's see in our I cut it should so if we have a new part it should show that part with so if we go to EE now where is it EE now resistor let's grab that one that should have okay okay tools update so oh, I see value okay update close so I'm missing okay where the problem is here description okay so manufacture and comma value have a comma I need a comma here. Uh, let's see. Save it. And let's go here. Uh, uh, Where do you go? Huh? Okay. Hmm, no, it's not adding. What happened? Oh, uh -huh. so something, something is wrong. Manufacturing column, column name, manufacturer name. Oh, I think the problem. Let's see. So go here. Let's get to the range. Manufacturing. Copy. Apply. Okay, what I'm expected to see here is you know, maybe I'm not doing it right. You know, any of them that you have. Okay, I haven't lost connection. Um, you know what, let me save, let me close down. Maybe had a hiccup or something. Let's close this down, open it again. Um it wasn't that it wasn't it wasn't easy to set up, but I think once you get it once you get it connected or maybe I got too many things open. Let me even close this because um so file recent let's do that one and schematic 
So when you lose a connection, it'll give you an error. So I want to see if now it's updating my my stop. So if it's not connected, oh look, I, this is what I got. I ran into this problem before and and that was because the last thing I did I added a column right so if I go to the file and this happened to me before so if I go to notepad plus plus and I open the file file open that up and what I do I might not need this comma properties footprint keywords my file new okay so now let's see the original file oh That uh, click a database library and then advanced topics. Okay, so I'm trying to fix now. It, it happened to me before, and so. So there is no comma after the last one value there's a comma here but not here okay so let's fix that it's very sensitive the file very sensitive so it has a a comma here but not here and And a B and comma. So I think it needs a comma, but I'm not sure. Uh, okay, so I don't think they had that other one had a comma. Uh, so I'm trying to follow what they have so I'll save and now if I see the file online so it has fields so it has from here to here with a comma right and then from here to here, no comma. Um, so I'm thinking because I'm adding another one, I need a comma. So let's do it with comma and without comma and see if it fixes. So I'm saving. I'll save. And now let's see if I can. Is fixed. E now.
very sensibly the file. E now, okay. So now let's put another one. You will lose that connection. Um, so if you make a mistake, oh, okay. So now, see manufacturing now it came up. So this is the last one I put in, but this ones they don't have the field. So as you can see. So the power, the powerful thing about this is, okay. So now once you have that, if I go to, you see all of these, it doesn't have like the last one I added. The last one I added has the manufacturer name. We can see, see right here from the library. So now all of these doesn't have that field here so look for a click on a button you got and if you have a big design you got all these resistors everything there I need to change so now I go to update symbols from library and I'm going to add that uh, I need a reference. I'm not gonna do reference now. Okay, so now I do update. Now I close. Now look. Oh, that's it again. Update symbols from library. Oh. Uh, but they all symbols in the schematic. I'm not sure where is that getting from. Okay, let's go up there. Okay, I think it's that showing because of this one. These other ones have this other fields. See that? So now this should have oh the manufacturer name but I don't want it to show. If I click OK show. So I don't want it to show. So when I drop it, let's get another resistor C. So the file is very sensitive. You make a mistake, a comma like I did. Done. It won't, it won't connect. So very sensitive as far as syntax. So now let's put this one in. So, so now it's showing. I don't want to show. But showing when it drops, so I don't want to show that. Okay, so so now let's go here. In the manufacturer name, visible and show name false visible and Aram uh, visible on Aran right I don't want to show the show name false is on Aram okay so let me put false here false And uh, let's save it. Save it. Now let's go back to KiCut. And let's see how it's behaving now. So let's go to EE now. Okay. Still showing.
So my was had a resolve and look here false and no false false save it and now let's see what happened all right let, let me close it let me let's say all those changes I'll say it's safe already okay so let's go back here oh say oh okay where's Kaka okay let's open up again I need to refresh or something. Let's close even this one. Let me close this one too. Just in case. So now I go here. Oh, I got too many windows open. This one. And this one. This one. Alright. A little bit slow coming up. Come on, come on. All right. So let's go towards schematic. If you lose connection, you will get a message. As soon as you lose connection, like the one that came out before. So be careful when you're making changing in that file. Syntax is very important. So let's go EE now database so let's see how it's showing now let's show it showing now save okay I think that did it okay so now it's not showing okay because I don't want too many things here so you see how we got these other ones with that small change, so now if I go here, tools, update symbols from library, and I want to update all the symbols, update it, close. How come? Manufacture there, don't know. But it's checked out. Oh. So I guess, I thought you could delete it as soon as it you know that base is that this one that this comes up now let's see this one let's show there okay so tools update symbols for now so value Okay, let's do update. Oh, oh did I even reset the update. Oh, tools update symbol for library. Okay. Matching reference update symbols matching value update symbols matching identifier update close 
Alright, I don't see... I don't see that going away, the tail part. Okay, because... The tail is show. Okay, so... And so if I add a new one now, and now okay, um, so now let's go to. So you can add. All those fields on one shot. Oh, hopefully it doesn't crash. Um, so oh, I have a cancel. Oh, what those? I got a bunch of them there. Alright, so that's the footprint I picked. Okay, so uh, let's see this. Let's go to the schematic. So On title, you see why is same? This and this the same? Same? Yes. Okay, so so now we can see. The value of having that out. So now let's say I need to change the part number for the 4.7. So, so let me put this 4.7 here, here, all the 4.7 more here. Why I put so many more more. Move. Move. Okay, so, so so now if I take that out and I put the E now for one of these. Okay. Okay. You know. Three. Okay, so now here, we put the details, we have the other fields, look, I'm going to say that. Okay, so okay. So now you can do 
control copy control v control v control v control v control v okay now we have the the manufacturer we are the dev let's say you change the manufacturer if you were changing the manufacturer for those components you got one two three four five six seven everything you gotta go one by one no now because you're doing the database now we should be able just to go to my sql the workbench and we should be able to change oh no uh, it should be coming soon where do you go my sql what which okay it's coming oh no it's funny jesus oh okay it's coming all right so it opened twice now we have one instance All right, so we're gonna go to MySQL connections. It should come up. Go to our table here. So let's say this when you change to a different company like like I don't know Panasonic and this one I got Gail Gail maybe the other one uh, DG key uh, the other one I don't know let's see uh, maybe other company that we can use so the change um, you do in just one spot now so now I go to apply and should apply say finish and now let's see our um, kite cut we go here now of course we're not going to see the change it's still saying there and now we got tools update symbol from library and the only thing we're gonna change in all of the manufacturer name then we're gonna say update close now right, look see that one's Panasonic and I didn't have to go one by one and that could be for any of the fields that we have here in, in, including the value the footprint um, the data sheet yes I had trouble with this so I leave it alone for now but the other ones so Panasonic so all of them saying Panasonic Look. okay and this one should say yeah you go okay and look boom 
And here, did you key? Here. All the changes we make in one place. Now, um, sorry about that. Uh, I forgot something very important. So, how do you set it up? So, you go to tools, uh, symbols. Where is it? Do, do, tools, tools. Symbol editor, and then here you gotta manage symbol libraries. Then over here, the file I put a nickname. In my case, I put e now database, and I store it uh, same as on my sig my sigma parts. And as you can see, it has the pad, kai cat, in our database. I made the folder, and within the folder is my in our dot kai cat underscore dbl. And then here in the library format, you see kai cat legacy and database okay uh, the last column description so I'll put data base for client okay So okay, and and that's it. So The other column I want to add was uh, if I have a kite cat. Oh, take a long time. What happened? Uh -huh. It's crashing or it's going to crash? Maybe because I got all this open. Let me close it. Is a lot of memory. Doing a lot of stuff. Okay. Oh, I think I just did it. I pressed it. Okay, so, uh, let's wait to respond. I will cut cross uh, program. Oh, I did it. I did crush it. Oh no. I broke it. All right. So If it's not broken, I can still like if you have a problem with the connection, it will give you an error like the one we have at the beginning. If it, everything is correct, it should be fine. So, let's see what we got now. Uh, there that's fine okay so we know how to do this now so now, now
now we are manufacturer name now manufacturer part number uh, we can add price okay usually you want to do those fields as if you were planning for a bill of material so so let's go to let's say we go to DG key and DG key bill of materials format format columns I think that okay so how do I build my Alright, so let's go here. And they have a specific format. So, example list here. Let the user on my list a simple list. So let's see the simple list. I don't have my uh, login right now for DigiKey. The idea is the following. The idea is to read only. Okay, that's fine. You're going this. Okay, so so they give you the packaging. So. so What is the download? So I think I say I add this part, add parts. I add a couple parts. I say I add this part. Well, not like that. Add the car. Okay, now we should have something in the car. Where you go? All right, let's say we pick all this at the car. Okay, so now where do we go? Uh -huh. Well, you want to know what are they? How far? So, I know you can do upload file and you upload Excel, but you want to match your columns so it's easy to order. Okay, now. Yeah, so you gotta log in and register. Um, so you see, that I see maybe we, we wanna put a note, original part numbers, yeah, parts, status. But you try to have mainly mainly is the manufacturer part number a Excel sheet download. Okay. 
Okay, so you see, it's gonna give me all the fields that they have. Ability description. So it's gonna be like that. See, so send it to email. You're gonna download it. Okay, so now. Okay, so I also I should show you all the files. That's weird. See, this is the files I downloaded from my SQL, the start community, and the connector. So let's file say that in there, and we want it. Done. Okay, it's kind of slow because I'm recording the video, so it should be here. See, everything's lagging here. Is it lagging? So, so. So my next step is like use a list like this, right? And most of these fields, I believe you can do, well, okay, manufacturer the index, where is country? What did I just do? I'll do. So, so this is a manufacturer name. Really, description. So you try to have something like this. Ah, uh, reference that she. So you got all these columns. So main thing is manufacturer part number, manufacturer name. So that's how they they keep it. So, so I'm gonna match the copy and so I should go to my database. I'm gonna so my SQL should come up right now. It's lagging. Okay, it's coming up. Let's give it a give it a chance. Damn it. Where is it? What went? All right, it's coming. You can see it's the little circle going. There you go. There you go. It's loading. So I'm gonna go here. Go to database. And I should be able to I don't need this, I don't need this. Got a cut cut seven tables. Now we're gonna do the wrench. And where do you have the name? Uh, control V. And we're gonna use that. Right? And then the other one. What was it? Let's minimize this one. I wanna say manufacturer name. Like that. 
copy that and copy so that's how they have it so we're going to apply it the problems apply it finish it and what we should see and we should see here there you go so that change so now we got a kai card and let's see what this one has okay see what they have with the underscore now we'll put a new one or oh, let's do tools update symbols from library all symbols no that one select all update update close hmm Alright, so now let's see if I drop one. I show why uh, e now. Now let's see how I should have Manufacturing, okay. Okay, so in the file, the reason it's not pulling is because you, we have, and we got a notepad, notepad plus plus, we have in the file so it's not reading because we changed the column name and now it's manufacture no space now here space now so now we should see save now it should read so now let's go back to cut cut on another part e -E now where you go oh and now any of them will do it we'll go here go to properties I'll click the letter e And it didn't do it. Huh. Okay, so maybe we gotta close all together. Save it. Save it. Let's call everything together. Maybe it's getting locked up or something. I don't know. I'm trying to see my changes immediately. And I think this problem is because I'm doing everything on my local computer and I don't have a server with a database. So now let's add. E now. Database. Yeah, so it's not a. Yeah, you see? So, 
So something in the file is not updating right away, but you see here manufacturer name. So now they have that one fixed. This over here it should fix too. So it should be with not underscore. So if we go to tools, update symbols from library, update them all. And now we look at here. There you go. Without the underscore. So I guess the trick I struck the other one, see. Oh wait they have two here. Hmm. I should have it there. This one has one without, one with. Okay. So it's a little bit buggy that thing, but uh so you see what's happening. Oh manufacturing with and without. update all symbols reference reference value let's do everything update close I see that here oh I got one 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 with and one without center center so I'm not sure why you didn't delete that one, but if I pull from here, you know, I should report this, or maybe I need to write more code or something, I don't know. I'm just using what is given. Uh, I'm not a great programmer for these kind of things, but I can look at it, figure it out, maybe it takes me some time. So this one's fine. Um, now let's see if I go here. Especially the one have problem I say update symbol from library. Update. Update close. Let's do it. I have two. Maybe we want to create a different instance. Okay. So let's see now. There's one of these. Another one. As for adding dun, dun, dun. So we figured out together three okay for right, well. all right so so let's say this. Well, maybe because control cup and trying to figure out why. Probably. Maybe it's the data type. Okay, let's save that. So if I change these to, I think the 
I think I would mention something about something about only text. So maybe that's the reason. So let's go here. Let's see our resistors. Click on the little wrench here. I think that that type has to be text. I oh, don't know, tiny text, text, medium text. Let's put everything long text. Long text. Long text. Manufacturer part number. Oh, MP. I already had it here. Let's repeat it. Uh, long text. Apply. Apply. Executing. Successful. Finish. Here. here. And uh, let's say I change the value of this one to four K. Okay, save changes, apply. So I should see a change in the value in this guy. That's 4.7. So I go to tools, out the symbols, from library, and I'm just going to do the value, nothing else. Close. And there you go. 4K. So now let's say I want to use a different symbol. Instead of being this symbol, I want to do okay over here. Let's do resistors. Let's find device and let's say I want it to do this US small. Okay, I want to change to the USA R U S O. So properties. R-U-S. So you gotta write this copy. It's coming from the same library device. So I go to my wrench here. And then, no, sorry, not that. This one. Go here, and let's say I wanna make this guy. Control V R U S. Okay. Apply it. Apply. Finish. Oh, apply. Oh, no. Okay. Just too many things. Okay. So. So now we should see here. That was just to get from where it's coming and what is the name of it. So now this should change to Wiggly. So now let's go to Tools, Update Symbols from Library, and now we're going to do 
Update all the symbols. Update. There you go. Close. Now look. Hey. Okay. One shot. I changed all of them to this symbol now. So that's where I think it comes powerful. The database part of it. So I didn't have to go one by one. You know, like if I want to change the symbol for this one. You were supposed to go here and change the symbol and then you will look for change the symbol and you will go there and resistor no, I think it's on the device device right and then resistor resistor and then where is let's say I'm going to take a uh, small and then I hit that and then change see I had to do all that to change that to this and with the database uh, I can change in one shot so I go here so let, first of all what's the name of that so now I can do properties it's called what is it called I think it's called a small device resistor a small US R small US so now I go here and to the database for the columns or no resistor. So now I'm gonna make R small underscore US apply it apply finish done and now we can come to KiCad here for the tools update from symbol from library update tools Of the this is the okay of the so I think there's a hiccup again. I'll save. Let's open up again. Uh, that's because I changed one. Let's see why. Alright, so. Let me delete this one. Let me create no problem. Those. Update too much from memory. Update. Close. What is this? I'm just, uh, 
Okay, top one. Maybe we're not changing the lower one. My sister. Or a small US. Or 10K. What do we have here? 10K. Oh no, we need to change the 5K. My bad. So, 5K is this one. On the US. Okay. I was doing the wrong one. Sorry. Okay, so apply, finish. Okay, so now we should see the change tools update update tools tools update symbols update all the symbols update close and here we go five K all the five K change it to the wiggly small. See that? Okay, so I think I'm gonna wrap it up. So now, and you can do the same thing for the footprint. So now, if we go here, so I, we're gonna do the 5k through hole and R4, R4 surface mount. And I think this will come handy when you make your own uh, symbols. So, for example, here, right? We have move, move. So. Okay, move. Okay, so and I think for convenience, I think you can take this and then you say, uh, I go to here and then you do right click and you say. Uh, no, clear Pack and move footprint. So now we pack and move right there. So I need that section. And then you go back here. You pick this guy up over here. And say again. Right click, back and move that section. Then you go over here, same thing, select what you need. Go here, and then you say, Where do you go? Is that it? Oh. Then you say, Pack and move footprints. There you go. So then you have your your steps separated. Okay, so all right. So now let's do it for the footprint. I know this is going to be long, but uh, okay. So let's do footprint. So now let's say let's do the 4K. Okay, take this symbol. Oh, where is the four K? Let's see the four K. Okay. Wait a minute. What is the value is four K? So told told update uh, 
Okay, so you should get 4K. 4K, yeah, okay. Okay, wait a minute. Oh, 4K. So you got move. Okay, so so let's say I want to do a different footprint for for that. So so the easiest way will be you click right. So you go to your libraries. Which is resistor symbol. Uh, where do says resistor SMD and let's say I want to do true hole instead okay I want to do a true hole vertical uh, horizontal but let's say I want to do that one so Now let's say properties. Where is that coming from? So we need this value now. We're going to copy that and we're going to go to our database. Resistors. Let me change. I change the 4K. So first of all, you gotta know where is it coming from. So the name of that is this, right? But it's resistor. The library is it's coming from uh, from with sister. Resistors, but resistors THD. So we go here, resistor. Now this is coming from THD. All right, so now we're going to apply it, finish it. And now from our experience, we're going to delete this one. I'm going to save this. Go to, so now the 4K has footprint, resistor, SMD. So now that should change. So now, let's see, tools. Update symbols, and we're going to do just a footprint, all of them. Update, close. So now it says resistor THT, blah, blah. So now we go here. And now we do tools, update, update PCB, voila, 
now we have our tool resistor right there okay so let's make a uh, where's a layer for edge cuts and let me see my design rules I have a file already dedicated to do uh, what happened? Oh. It's 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 going. Hopefully it doesn't crash. It crashed already once. Already, so that took me a while to figure out. Project is missing a read only. Some cells will not be edible. Okay, so okay. All right, let's save. So let's make a box around this. Just to see it. All right. So let's view it. There you go. I went from surface mount to true hole. One shot. So that's, I think that's what the the benefit is by doing with the with with the database, and you can store more information like mine. I can even put. Uh, let's say uh, if I got a range, so I have manufacturer part number. Now let's say I want to add uh, the price, what is in its symbol, footprint, value, manufacturer name. Uh, 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 so company company part number and then we're gonna make here we're gonna make a long text I don't remember they were saying something about uh, this will be always be text. It's buggy still. So I apply and finish. So as a company part number. So here will be our company part number. We apply it. So once you make the change here, you gotta do the change on the uh, save it. Okay, so you gotta go to the file that we were notepad notepad plus plus and then here here we got a There we go. Still loading. Okay, so so you see how you got npm value manufacturer. So you got to keep the same name. I don't want to show so this one works so I know it works so so I guess the last one doesn't get a comma so I'm going to copy this one control copy control B so this one gets a comma manufacturer name and let's see what do we call what do we call in the column? 
So we are company part number. Company part number. And now you can put one, two, three, four, five. Uh, some numbers. Random number just to prove the point. Put the point here. Put some random numbers. Okay. And we apply it. Apply. Finish. So it's company part number. So that's what we gotta call here. So we go here. And then here, the company, company, par, number, same. There you go. And here, copy that. This one out. All right, Control Z. You know what? Something. I better type it off. Company part number. Okay. Now we save it. And we should see all those numbers there. So now let's go there. All right, let's close this. And save everything. I don't know, I'm getting better results when I close everything and come back. For some reason. Okay, so we should go back to our schematic. And now we mean if we open this, we don't have the company part number. So now we go tools update. Update, close, and here we go, company part number is showing here, we'll put that number there, and we didn't put a number for that one, what did I do, tools, all of them, Close. Company part number. This one should have company part number. And this one should have company part number. Okay. So that's what the what I can see with the benefit from the database. The data doesn't reside with the component. It's managed from from here so when you make a change here it takes effect over there in a massive scale and that's it so any questions leave it uh, uh, leave it in the comments below uh, so I had like I say I had Issue. It wasn't smooth, and I couldn't find. Uh, I found some documentation, but the hardest part for me was um, here, the connectivity part. So this part was the hardest for me. And then, as you can see here, we made some mistakes. Didn't work. Then we figured out that, you know, the comma thing here, the last one doesn't have a comma. So you put a comma, then, so our file is looking out more like, 
let's see how it's looking like our configuration file so it has a little bit more and that's only only the resistors so this is the resistor column you know you want to do the same thing so now that this is working like this I will I will copy this and make a capacitor column now here capacitor everything and I guess the same thing you do for ICs so I think that's from what I can see it's very good in and changing parts and values at the massive scale if you have a big design or something you know so maybe they make it better or so this code when I went here tools I think it was in the language I think is Jason Jason and it gives you the color so, so like I said for me I couldn't make it work with the connection string like the guy in uh, it was showing in I couldn't make it work so I decided to go with DSN have my username root and my password is hitting but my password is in the setup so in the setup in ODBC so if we go here oh the I see now the 32 I'm using the 64 so here uh, so I use the Unicode driver and I call it E now for me you can call anything you want so I configure like that so I call the sort EE now and now so it's local I have my port because I somehow I screwed up my port or it's being used um, by another thing so I had to change my port and then here I select my KiCad database which you saw it so I'm pointing to that and then I say test and then it says connection successful so I did it for that one and I did the same thing over here I call it the same name same thing MySQ, MySQL ODBC 8.3 Unicode driver so I went here if you see my settings same thing I call it the same thing over here I put local holes I don't know it's the same as the other number and then root my password is here uh, whatever password you use for your database that's the one you use and I see click this here connection successful and then and then in my file here uh, where it says my name name put KiCad 7 and then ODBC this is by default DSN I put E now my username root but you can create other users stuff like that so I'm using uh, it's my first time doing this trying out um, it's, a, it's been a trial and error as you can uh, you'll see in the video you saw how many things in the thing crash and stuff like that but I learned a lot from here so my next thing will be take all this code from here all the way to here because this is working now and I'll use for I don't know ICs I can call it ICs and, or capacitors I do for capacitors probably and um, let's see what else um, yeah so um, this can get uh, lengthy 
and so so that's that's just for capacitors you can see that I have only resistors uh, next it will be so you will have to go in the for MySQL in the workbench you will have to create another table for capacitors you know so maybe I, I think you can do a copy table not sure uh, I think you can do copy table or let's see let's see duplicate table tables what's the option here table create table uh, don't do truncate that will delete it um, same thing where you take database don't do that because it will it will erase from here it happened to me I did truncate or drop something with truncate just get it more information over here about workbench check your updates there's other tutorials on YouTube about these kind of things um, like I said I'm um, so I got I got resistors so I want to create another table create a new table oh schema this is my schema I create a new table okay must be saved by double clicking okay so create a new table uh, Oh, sorry. Now we call it capacitor. Capacitors. Uh, then you same deal. So you gotta put the par ID. So so same thing. For this one, we do par ID, draw copy, and go here, copy, and then uh, what's the next part? Symbols. And I'll click here and drop B. And that's got to be uh, text. From text, that's what I use. Then the next one will be footprints. And same thing. Long text. Okay, then apply. Apply. Finish. And now you have the next column. Par ID symbols. Uh, this one's more we did more so you, you have more columns see we got all these kind of things here value manufacturer name company part number so we started small so and then you gotta do the same thing for capacitors 
I'm gonna go with 2001 Just ID like a symbol footprint and then we're gonna save all this say changes apply all right so I'm tired right now uh, let's go I'm gonna close that up so to be continue okay so we'll do so we got this working file over here now uh, let's close all this up it just takes time okay and thank you for watching like share and subscribe Oh!